Where's Vito at with the fucking coffees? <laughs> How hard is it to get coffees? It's right downstairs. Yeah. What did he do? Stop to fucking have sex with some guy? <laughs> 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 See, I, I definitely need coffee when you're saying shit like that. By the way, our Thanksgiving show is coming up soon. We're going to make the announcement. But um, does it first go out to the VIP list? First to the VIP list, So yes. tell people how to get on that. Go to BenningtonShow.com and a pop-up will appear. You put in your information. Pop-up. Pop. A pop-up <laughs> pop will up appear. Pop-up will appear. <laughs> oh, that's nice to have a little time for Hello. pop-up. You fl- Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, pop-up. Hello. Benningtonshow.com. I love it. <laughs> a pop-up appears. Fill out your information. Pop-up. Pop-up. Pop up. The way you said it, though, it sounds, it like, sounds pop-up. like pop-up. A pop-up mm. appears. You put your information in. Seems and like you, you got pop-up issues. <laughs> <laughs> Benningtonshow.com for that pop-up. Hey, pick the, out of all the pictures taken, pick the one that you like. Okay. I picked the last uh, one. Since I don't move, uh-huh. everything looks the same to me. I was the only one moving. Yeah. Move in. Jessica Curson uh, wrote back that she is so excited to do this unmask. And I'm going to take that mask right off her face. <laughs> and that unmask with Jessica Curson, that's happening Tuesday, October 15th, 8 p.m. at the Sirius XM Studios. Go to at Bennington Show on Twitter for free tickets. Absolutely free tickets. Mm-hmm. Totally free. I was going to ask for a cover charge, but you know what? You guys decided free. Yeah, I thought that was really greedy of you, Gail. <laughs> I know how By the you way, I, well, guess what? It was going to go to charity. So I'm going to be doing something for the New York Comedy Festival, and we're announcing that tomorrow. Yes, that's tomorrow. I think if you go to the New York Comedy Festival website, you can probably find it today. Mm-hmm. It's going to be, I'm just, I'm not going to say where it is, but I'm going to do a. Karate demonstration. Oh, shit. Two different things I'm going to do. Okay. And this has never been done before. I'm setting a record. I'm going to punch 50 children in their stomachs. <laughs> oh, my God. I line them up. Yeah. And just one, uh, one, uh, 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 uh. That's a lot of And kids. hopefully I'll go through 50. And if I'm doing it correctly, I'll break 50 plus ribs. Oh, no, this is what... My question is, what was the previous record? (laughs) It was one, and then the police stepped in. (laughs) But I believe I can get the New York Police Department to sign off on this. I mean, how many... I mean, your hands are going to hurt, too, if you had 50 ribs. Yeah. How many children do you think you could punch in the stomach before you would tire out? I mean... uh... I would say 27. Are you insane? No Do you know how exhausting way. punching is? That people think that it's, it's you know why? easy. Chris Stanley has never been in a legitimate street fight in his life. You never know why? Been, no. His mom kept him inside until he was a grown adult. <laughs> oh, you were an inside boy. She was very worried about me. Inside boy. <laughs> he was in there just fucking yanking his crank. <laughs> you're inside <laughs> Jacking <toys>. off. <laughs> So it was sore and I couldn't do it anymore. Dude, you're not even trying to rhyme. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> Sing even it in like the it's song. up down girl thing. Fucking Chris Stanley is a major talent. You know that? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. What you did for me with Robbie uh Robertson today, I'm never gonna forget. You're a major dude. Thank and you. Any major dude with half a heart truly could tell you my friend. Yeah. And also you put together that thing yesterday. Um Panel mm-hmm. for who? For uh, Monty Python. Monty Python. Fiftieth anniversary. Fiftieth anniversary. Fiftieth anniversary. Black guy just told me today I had a nineties look just out in the hall. <laughs> I go, you have the nineties look. <laughs> go, you look like fucking some kind of nineties performer. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You have a nineties look. I think it's a good thing because the '90s are in again. Are they? That, They're yeah. back in a big, big way. It's fucking ridiculous. Would we please bring back the big ridiculous suits? That's when I was at my most comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I always love when you can tell when Dennis Miller's TV show come out because his suit yeah. was. You're he could have been in Talking Heads. You're looking for almost a zoot suit situation. Can I just fucking ask you to ask that Vito where he is? It's almost the end of the show. What I want to do, drink coffee now and then fucking feel... Speed all the way home? Yeah. He's getting a cup of hot cum for himself. <laughs> dude. Whoa, dude. That's the Whoa. most sexist thing I've ever heard in my life. That's 
so fucked up. But yeah. instead of hot coffee, I meant. Yeah, we got that part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that wasn't the confusion. Can I just tell you something? When I hear Chris talk, it feels like I'm listening to a rapist. <laughs> Earl, you have an eye on the to look, look at rapey this. tonality about it. You got to be able to do more than one thing at a time in this business, son. You're good. Like, look at me. Look at what I'm doing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, thanks for taking forever, Vito. <laughs> have a seat over here. Zabato. Zabato, get it for me. <laughs> you give him a tip, uh, Vito? Yeah, I gave them $1. Jesus Christ, I'm not made out of money. Oh, come on, Vito. It's a takeout. You think they should get a tip for that? Honestly, I'm only I don't. Kidding. I do. Oh, I do. <laughs> well, I don't. I love to tip people. I would have, to be honest with you, I would have left too. By the way, when, when I, I drink. yeah, when I tip people, I don't just hand it to them. I try to put it in the pocket. I go here. <laughs> I go. Don't even tell your wife about this. That's for you. Okay, a little mad money. <laughs> um, what person on the show would you say is most sexist out of everybody here? Probably Earl. Really? Wow, I thought I had that in the fucking Well, yeah, bag. but like, I don't know. Earl's had those multiple occasions of yelling at black women on the phone. Oh, God, he's oh, the yeah. racist, though. Yeah. <laughs> Are they black um, first or women first? Um, I'm going to say uh, Chris, but he's also most improved. Yeah. <laughs> because when I, first, right. when I first met him, I'm pretty sure I was his first female friend. Right. Like, that wasn't just dating his friend or something. He doesn't no. talk to women unless he's having sex with them. Right. That's right. Um, like, I, for example, like, in the first weeks when we first started doing the Bennington show. Yeah. Like, I would meet with him, like, pre-show, and I would yeah. want to go over something, and he would be like, are you going to put out or what? <laughs> Dude, don't, why did you say that to sexist. them? That's fucking sexist. You could have fucking been beat to for that, I didn't Joe know. Paterno. <laughs> <laughs> what? He was a he was a kid toucher. Well, Gail's very <laughs> young looking. I She's do very have a young. beautiful, you know, air about me. I'm very short. Right, let's try this one. Out of everybody on the show, who would you say most likely to vote for Trump? I think I know. That's yeah. fucking Vito. <laughs> Are you saying that just because he's Italian? Uh, Italian and his mom voted for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> and twice. he's Good yeah, twice, yeah. And he's like he's influenced by. Well, Leslie. at first I started to think Ron because like yeah. you know you, you oh, seem oh, to benefit. benefit. Yeah, you I have, benefit. I, have, I benefit greatly from yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, plus like, I go to cigar bars. The thing <laughs> is uh, with Vito, like you know, he has a crippling school debt. Like you yeah. know what I mean? Like I don't think he could benefit as much mm. as. Uh, the only well, white male over yeah. here. <laughs> the old patriarchy. I mean, yeah, I am definitely in the patriarchy. There's no doubt about yeah. it. You're the Pats. I mean, I've had I've had a run like nobody would believe, you know. Oh yeah. I even think back when they're going like, di you know, the cops treat you differently, and now I go like this. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. totally. I got set home instead of arrested plenty of times. There's a but lot I of warnings. I also think Earl, as a self-hating black man, could <laughs> vote for Trump. I can see that. If yeah. if you were promised more white friendships, would you vote for Trump? First of all, Earl couldn't have more white friendships. <laughs> I don't think he knows a single black person. And when he does, he screams at them. Who's your best black friend? My best black friend would when be... You repeat, non celebrity when bitch. When you repeat okay. the question, you know you don't... You don't have it. You're yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, Earl repeats every... We already know. The fucking guy from Living Color. All right, let's play another uh, thing like this. Okay, so uh, most homophobic? Oh, that's Chris. Okay. Okay. And Earl, too, because black guys are homophobic. Yeah. He's worse than me, because he wouldn't even let someone jizz on his fucking foot for like a million dollars. Right, you got a good, he makes okay, a good so point. Okay, so it's Earl, yeah, Earl so that's yeah. an easy one. Shithead. Uh, most likely to be in a murder-suicide. Chris Stanley. Chris. By far. I think so. Hmm. He brings it up a lot. Yeah, and I want to be the suicider, so I don't, I don't trust anyone to not. I think if someone killed me, they wouldn't kill themselves. But if I killed someone, I'd definitely kill myself. Why does right that after. give you peace in your death? <laughs> Just to know that it will be reported as a murder suicide, <laughs> as opposed to fat man murdered. Why fat man? <laughs> He really has a problem with his own weight, and he, it, he like does. we don't no. bring it up as much as he does. I actually, that's the only reason we do bring it up. Yeah. You make it a well, safe space for people to fat shame you. That's yeah. not good. You know what? I'm not gonna bring it up anymore. Well, All right, here's one I think is good. <laughs> here's one I think is good. Most likely to shit themselves in line at Popeyes. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh boy! I mean, could be anybody. Yeah, let's be honest. Anyone's game. 
I'm gonna say Earl. Because he has a bad <laughs> stomach. He has a bad stomach. Bad stomach. You act like he's the only one that would be a Popeyes. Yes, that's why you said it. I love Popeyes. I would go to Popeyes, but I don't want trouble. <laughs> I would say Chris, because if you like look at his stomach problems, he f I feel like he won't know between a shit and a fart. A lot of times I think he shits himself in here. Yeah. I smell something, but he doesn't say. It happens. I go, Chris, do you want to go home and clean up your pants? <laughs> you ever... <laughs> You ever notice that sometimes during a break, he'll be like, I have to go to the bathroom, and then he'll come back and he's wearing gym shorts? Yeah. I mean, something <laughs> obviously that happens. happens. Quite a bit. Didn't think you guys noticed that. <laughs> you keep him on a hook that says shit pants. <laughs> emergency shit pants. It says over it, yeah. uh-oh, emergency shit pants. <laughs> I told Andy not to sit in his chair yesterday because I said he shits in that chair all the time. Don't yeah. you turn Andy against me. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't have to um, turn him. Well, here, here's one for you. Most likely to get drunk and try to grope a coworker. Earl. Chris. Come on. You've already done it. I've already done it. Oh, fuck me. On camera. That's not good. Most likely to be victim of said grabbing. <laughs> Gail or Vito? <laughs> I'll say Vito. And the real person. Oh. You haven't even seen again, right? Uh, the one no. you were making out with. I... <laughs> Look, you I guys was, saw I each was other. three bottles of vodka fucking in. Two. At that two point, oh, sorry, two. two. A mere gallon of vodka. <laughs> and there were four people drinking, not just you, that gallon. I was doing they the majority. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you really <laughs> did do majority. Yeah, it was, it was not good. I woke up in a hospital. I remember telling Chris the next day, like, he asked me about how much he drank, and I described something he drank to him, and he <laughs> threw up in a garbage can. I projectile in the office. vomited in the office. <laughs> And then I went to the bathroom to vomit some more. He's, I don't know if I ever told you guys that. Vito's telling you. I'd rather you didn't do that here where we're around a lot of non-alcoholic people. I have to also stress to the listener that the office is glass. And so yeah. just anyone walking by could see him. Yeah, I remember trying to hold the puke in my hands. Dude, I'm fucking I'm drinking right now. I can't think about you holding puke in your hands. It was the shot he did staring at somebody where it was a rocks glass and he put his whole mouth over the roof yeah, of the this glass is, to go to and then threw it back. All right. I got another one for you. I think you guys are going to like. Okay. Most likely to transition. Most likely. Anybody on the team. By the way, I mean, you know it's not going to be me because why give up the patriarch? Right, <laughs> you know, it's been working so well. But I got the easy answer and I can't believe you guys are struggling. It's fucking Earl. Yeah. Earl in a heartbeat. I could see Earl happily living his yeah. life as an older black I thought woman. you guys were going to say me because I'm just one of the guys. <laughs> but you know what? I have the height against me. Like, I'll never yeah. be able to pull it off. Yeah. Like, you'd be, be a, like, okay. you'd be Bagel Boss. If you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do you, who do you think is taller, me or Bagel Boss? You are, I think, by an inch. Wow. I yeah. think Bagel, bar, uh, bagel Boy. And I thought we were never going to mention him again. <laughs> I know. I said we weren't. He's a fucking piece of garbage from Garbage Town. <laughs> All right, Chris, you come up with one. Um, all right, let's see. Which which person is most likely which? to be convicted of murder? We already had a murder. Oh, sorry, murder. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. That's a good point. Also, it's not which. <laughs> which <laughs> person? <laughs> you are so, for a guy who went to this fucking big hot school, yeah. you're so uneducated. There was some hot shit in there. All right, come on. All right. Uh, what? Which of us... Which of us? Which of which? Which, which of? Just ask the fucking question. You okay. stalling? All right, no, I'm not Should stalling. I give it to Vito. <laughs> give it to Vito for a second. All right, Vito, like everything, you take over his work. What? All right, which which one of which. us do you think would most likely been hiding that they can't read? <laughs> Chris, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's an easy one. That's Chris. Oh, you ask one. No, I'm gonna ask you, Earl. Which one of us do you think is the most racist or alt right? Most alt right is Chris. Rank now. Rank, yeah, rank. Two. Chris one. <laughs> two. Vito two. Yeah. Ron three. Gail four. Woohoo! Most really, wrong. you wow. think I'm more racist than Gail? Uh, Gail is definitely very leans very well, much then who the fucking raised her <laughs> earl why you're fucking bragging that you learned bragging this shit on the fuck. streets <laughs> <laughs> i learned not to be racist out on the street i'm surprised you'd hurt me that bad 
I fucking was right. marching in the civil rights thing. Well, gay civil rights, but still. <laughs> Brian in Virginia. Do you guys ever sit back and realize how different of an environment you work in from the rest of America? Why? It's just, listening to these stories is, it's amazing. Name one story like, that seems odd to you. Uh, Chris drinking two bottles of vodka and puking in his office. Yeah. Doesn't happen be. normally. Yeah. Taking a racism poll in the office. <laughs> not normal. I think that actually happened on the show, The Office. <laughs> Can I just say this, Brian? You come up with some good points. Pretty good prize. Oh, uh, pretty good prize. Love it. At, a, at another job I have, somebody did a... Um, another job? There's only the one. Uh, so that, that job... You say it like you're in the mob. <laughs> yeah. It's another Shit. job. Thank you, paying houses. They did a, a betting chart. It was an interracial couple, and everybody bet on what shade the baby would come out. And I just thought, if the, anybody took a photo of that, it's fucking over for everybody involved in this. I think it's cute. I mean, yeah. the mixed race babies are our most beautiful. Yeah. But that's a fun new betting. But by game. the way, the that it it doesn't even make sense because it changes very quickly. Yeah, they come like out. My friend's baby. Yeah. The baby's mixed race. Wait, you have that black baby, friends? Uh, and you are the least racist. <laughs> <laughs> the baby way. came out white, like straight up white, and then yeah. three days later, brown. That it takes happens. a while. Yes, because the pigment takes a while to set. I in. was going to say, I thought the mother cheated. <laughs> <laughs> So, it doesn't even make sense. No, nobody knows. Just fuck them. I fuck. I don't like them anymore now. Oh, mixed Ooh, race people? I no, got, no. I got, I, didn't... I got one for the poll. Yeah. Uh, most likely to be in an interracial marriage. Well, Chris is already in one. No, but he's not going to be married, so. Oh, yeah. So you actually have Definitely to Definitely not, Earl. No, no Vito's not going to get married either. Mm -hmm. No. What? I'm going to get married. Do you think you would marry a white girl? And have it be in a, in a racial relationship. I could marry a black woman. No, a white woman. Oh. So that would be in a racial. <laughs> <laughs> you don't tend to uh, like the whites, I think. I you don't. Like I like I like a nice Saudi woman. Oh, that is true. Yeah. He does. I like women from Dubai and that's, Saudi Arabia. That's because they're normally boys. <laughs> 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 no, those women are beautiful. Yeah. 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 Big fan. I, uh, I was talking with the French people the other night. And I go like this. Do you ever notice that everyone is so at, uh, attracted to a girl with a French accent? And then I go like this. And then repulsed by a man with a French accent. And I could see that he was getting really pissed. And I go, the reason why is the French women are so beautiful, but the men are so dirty and greasy and horrible. <laughs> and he was just getting so far. Like, she was like, uh, and I saw him getting angry and angry. And I go, just ma'am, could you say something? She said something. I'm like, oh my God. Oh, that's so fucking hot. And I go, but you know how you guys you sound filthy, like you got meat in your mouth all the time. <laughs> There's just no reason for it. Because you said that uh, men, women like French men, right? Yeah, I do. I just don't think that's true, though. Yeah, I do. Like, I had the conversation, because there's always, uh, you know, women are like, like guys from Italy, yeah. like not Italian American. Right. But I was having a conversation with my friend. I was like, I much prefer a Frenchman to an Italian. I think if I could live in any uh, country, it would be France. If I had to live in another country. Yeah. I love French people. I love them. Yeah. The food. The food, the art, you know. They it's have fantastic. everything good. Most likely to be an expat. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, first, all you guys will end up being expats, but I'm thinking about going down to Costa Rica. What, do you have family down there? Uh, my girlfriend has family down that's there. That's what I mean. Well, that's yes. what he's saying. Okay. You're in yeah. considering you I know married. you don't have fucking family. <laughs> <laughs> a good point's great. I mean, the, the fact that you try to correct me after I've known you for this. Well, so, oh, Ryan, no, 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 it's not me. I'm sorry my parents have passed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's come up before. Yeah, they passed gas. <laughs> that's where I learned it from. <laughs> You had to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I I wanted to do this thing for a long time. I want to do. I'm going to give you a decade, and you give me the definitive one hit wonder. It's going to take a while. It's going to take about an hour. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, every there's, there's decade not enough. To, there's only two minutes left in the what? show. Should well, I we speed do this? No, I mean I think we should just like, maybe I feel do like it tomorrow. We could really get into this. Here, you ready to try it? Yeah. I mean, right, first of all, the 1910s. <laughs> <laughs> what was it for you? <laughs> 
So we don't have time, Chris? We don't have time. Well, we really wanted to do that. That sounds fun. We could do it tomorrow. Uh, uh, by the way, go it's up and look today. at this picture of this grown man punching a vegan woman in the face. Oh, my God. It reminds me so much of Chris Stanley. <laughs> I don't attack <laughs> you vegans. You love never, so We never much even got into Stacey Dash. No, we didn't, no. no. But there's just there's little time left in the show. It doesn't seem like she did all that much, right? Should we do uh, scratching a little bit? Uh, an overtime <laughs> Bennington show? I mean, we overtime. can't. We can't today, OT? No. Bennington my OT? Coffee's just kicking in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling it. We got to move our coffee time up. Mm-hmm. What time should we have coffee every day now? I guess we should do three because we have been trying to do four. Two fifty-five. Why two fifty-five? Because it gives you a little time to ease into three, and then you roll. You, you've never been able to explain yourself as long as I've known you. You know what? You're thinner than you were this time last week, though. Yeah. Thank you. I've been running. Yeah, your arms are thin. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you're losing mass. I've been mass. trying to develop those. Why don't you work out with Hard Rock Johnny? Start working with the big weights. Maybe. I mean, he does power lifting. Yeah. He does. Doesn't he like do the thing with the uh, the tire? Yeah, he does the tires. He does deadlifts, squats. He works out with the same guy that trains Triple H. He's huge. Vince. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke of the day. Goes to Chris Dan, everybody. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see it Thanks. coming. Thanks. I never thought of Vince as being a fucking trainer. <laughs> But he is. All right, plug. Uh, Jessica Kirsten's on Mass. That's happening Tuesday, October 15th, 8 p.m. here at the Sirius XM Studios. For free tickets, go to at Bennington Show on Twitter. And Robbie Robertson's new album, Cinematic, that's available now wherever you stream music. And The Irishman comes out on November 1st in theaters, November 27th on Netflix. By the way, the album is beautiful if you want to pick up a physical album, if you're yeah. an album collector. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's one of the nicest looking albums I've ever seen. All right, I just want to talk about a couple things from my past. No, wait, we can't. Five seconds. Well, he was going to go deep. Three, two, one. Peace. Bye.